So, I had an okay day at the beach. I mean, I can't swim right now um, for a couple of different reasons. Um, but, you know, when at having, even having a picnic when at the beach, you know, my parent is so... I really think she was born without, a, you know, some issue, some personality issue because, um, you know, she's taking scolding that she uses to scold a young person. She's taking that and using it to scold everyone, including adults, over little issues which... I think exhibits some sort of flaw and and some personality issue. I mean, I'm not saying that she needs meds. I think that it's wrong to treat adults like child like children who need to learn and to try and steer themselves straight. You know, as opposed to an adult who isn't perfect, you know, um, and says, you know, she's really biting, biting down on, oh, what's wrong with us girl, and then using that to, you know, voice very loud objections in, in the form of a scold, you know, with adults too, you know, um, because she's picking up on something that she's trying to teach a 12-year-old girl. And both of them are not exactly the same instance. Um, because, but she's treating them like they are, you know. They're not exactly the same. So the reasons why you might scold a young girl over the same issue can be made valid when you see such and such. When, when you see around the issue and, and, and the total picture, you know. And if you see, you know, around the issue and the total picture to another person, like an adult, you know, you'll see that they're different. In, they're similar, but they're different, you know. And, and so the reasons why you would scold a young person as opposed to the older person, the older person is just using a moment of slang or... You know, they're not, it's not like, there's no right and wrong in how to say things, you know. Um, obviously, you know, it's nice if a person has manners, but when, uh, but no one's perfect, you know. And so to be treated like that, you know, they're different instances. So one's more severe than the other, you know. The young girl's more severe than the older person who just happens to say something like. So... I'm getting scolded more often for things that similar but different instances of the reflection of the issues that are being projected from a 12 year old, you know, and I think that's completely unfair and shouldn't be done or tolerated. And, you know, so I have someone going skits face and and the the they're just being empowered. I mean, I'm very lowly company. You know, I'm someone who has very huge issues with money. You know, and they're using that disadvantage to propel themselves upwards. You know, in in a skits face way. You know, they they've really got something wrong. You know, and you know, I've been put under this kind of stuff ever since I was very young, you know, it became apparent when I was around 16, you know, that these issues are not ever going to be there. And, but I was fighting them a lot harder because, you know, I I was in, I mean, I, I'm not in the same, exactly same financial institution but um, situation, but uh, when I was young, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I mean, I hadn't gotten a lot of school support money you know that hadn't been saved I hadn't received it I hadn't even used you know very much for my schooling they got so much more money that they spent themselves 
you know, which was apparent. And they waited a very long time for it to sign a form so that I get money instead of them, you know. So I was literally, you know, no money. And I knew, and and I had no idea what I wanted to do for work or future, you know. And, you know, my, and, and stuff. And my, the world around me was turning really bitter, you know, and they've carried that for years and years and years. They've been, they get down on you and, and scold you over and over again for many, many things, or even the same thing over and over again. And then it's like 20 years later, they're still saying the same stuff. And and now this new scolding, reason to scold is opening up and it's like, Come on, you're being a little bit ridiculous. I mean, no one's perfect. No one should be expected to, to be perfect or show 100% perfect manners according to some book. I mean, if you, you know, they don't do it, you shouldn't be expected to do it. So no need to scold just because you've used slang or, or something, you know, um, and not a swear word. <laughs> slang but just slang, general slang um and I don't know in my mind that's wrong you shouldn't be doing that you shouldn't be taking an argument and using it in everyday life I mean taking a scold and using it in everyday life like it should be something that they check everyone for and I know that they're only scolding me um in particular and I'm the one living with them. So, in particular, so. Um, but, you know, I try to say to my sister, oh, I don't think mom should, um, I don't think so, so should be handling the issue, like, is taking the issue and using it in, in everyday life and, and scolding me particularly heavily because they're scolding them. You know, um, I don't really think... I, I think uh, I, I mentioned, I can't actually read the text out, I don't think, um, but um, I mentioned that, well, without actually being able to read the text, it's hard to say what I actually said, but it's sort of like in the line, like, um, I think that that's going a bit too far, but in one word, um, and um I didn't get up to the point where I, th I mentioned I, d I don't think you should be allowing so so to scold when they're taking it and sort of developing a personality disorder with it, you know, um, and stuff. So and it's it's they have so many flaws. I mean these. All these little things that they do is completely wrong and they have all these little flaws but they have all the money they own this place this is their shit and they're flaunting empowerment their own empowerment you know and that's why they like it you know that's why you know they wanted me to struggle to have any success in life i've been totally gutted you know i've been had you know any steadiness moved out from under my feet and I've jumped here and there, you know, and I've been totally gutted, you know, as a mature age person. Um, and everyone overlooks that, you know, so as long as life is balanced like this, they feel like it's good, you know. So, but I think it's completely wrong. So I would have criticized, oh, maybe you should handle all these issues with your kid yourself and not let so so take over because they're developing some personality disorder from uh, scolding they're, they're carrying it around and, and using it on everyone you know um they're learning what to argue and then they're carrying that around it's like putting a template against every everyone and and, and saying oh you know the same scold to everyone you know, um, so it's really hard to explain. I don't think anyone really understands where, where I'm coming from. But in my mind, that's sort of a big no-no. Um, 
And of course, you know, they said, oh, maybe it's you, maybe you, uh, you know, have, you know, a problem and maybe you should fix it, you know. They didn't say exactly like that, but that's sort of, you know, the roundabout thing that, you know, I obviously am like a 12 year old and I have problems and I should fix it, you know, sort of thing, you know, and they, they weren't really understanding like um, that. They weren't very understanding at all, you know, of what I was actually saying. I was saying, but I didn't. I didn't get out to the point where I said, "Oh, maybe you shouldn't let so so," you know, talk to your kids in such a way because they're using that as a template against other people, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, they just don't understand what I'm saying, and of course, you know, the only thing they can say is, "Oh, I'm like a twelve-year-old," and. Oh, I must have some issue, like issue, and I should be scolded, and I should fix it up. You know, it's like, and I'm like, excuse me. You know, I don't expect anyone to support me. I mean, it's really hard to put up with these personality issues. I mean, they're flaws on themselves as well. You know, there's continuously when it shrink me down to the small size, so that they can look up down their nose and say. And, and put me in this fixed position, you know, and I'm, I'm not young, I'm mature, and, you know, every thought and, 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 and opinion of mine is completely invalid to everyone, you know, else, you know, and it's being made invalid the more I'm just me being huddled with these people, you know, in, in the way that it is. I mean, it's, this is their house, and it's not my house, and, and they want to feel the empowerment of being the owner and the owner of you in a way, like the person to tell you how you should be. And they and they want to overlord, you know, and um and and they want to look down on people, you know, and, and they want it this way, you know. They've they've blasted my life apart just to keep it this way, you know. And I've fallen apart and and I carry like this weight of everything gone wrong and, I, and nothing to do to fix it up kind of thing all over me. But, you know, it, it looks like a pleasant, this looks like a pleasant situation when it's actually really quite annoying and unpleasant, you know, when you really think about it. But, um, and I, I find it very hard to, get any leverage around me I mean all around me people just like them you know all around me people who like to bully other people and and to think that they're right and they get you know you know if they get the keys to be able to live a great life you know have money have you know you know people special um and families special and stuff you know, if they have all, all, all these things, you know, working out for them so that life is effortless, it's like they're snobs, you know, in a way. And and it gives them all their ridge to beat people down, you know. And, you know, you, you know, bullies, they just love to beat at people. The whole community is like that, you know. And it's very hard to find support because everyone's like, oh, we're the where the tougher people, where the better people, and 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 you're and they want to like ground you down in, into salt all the time, you know, um, start punching you and keep punching you, sort of thing, you know, is like their personalities, and and as a result, you know, you're getting a very unsteady life. You have very little to leverage on, and 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 you're not getting anywhere. You're being just sunk down. It's like. Um, so, like, I don't get any support from my myself from my point of view, and I, I feel really stupid because I'm stuck in this f stupid, you know, unequal fix and not 100% certain what I should be doing about it, you know. And I don't know, this stupid scolding just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, like, say it's just going too far. You know, and there, everyone's just saying, oh, you're the one with the problem. You should fix yourself, you know, it's like being... So I'm very, like I said, I'm very treated very lowly. Um, but... 
looks like I might have to blow this popsicle stand. No, I'm not in a hurry because I've blasted my finances moving. And I, I, I did want to live on my own and I've blasted my, my opportunity that was realistic. You know, because people want to f pull the rug out from under me and make my life unstable. And I want to run away from instability and keep myself f safe, but I, I just ran into trouble and I was treated very badly, you know, and I didn't have a great time. I was just 100% crying every day, you know, um, and facing my own issues and stuff. And I was, I'm just such, in such a weak position and... I find it, I find I myself tackling so many issues, you know, when I'm by myself and it's just no good. I mean, I didn't have a moment of peace. I didn't have a moment of positivity. I couldn't get any leverage. I can, I can, I just wasted, I just blame myself out, my future out. You know, future for me is based around my money and finances and losing that, I lost my future and I definitely lost the dream of living by myself in, a, in an affordable and realistic apartment. And, and now everything's super expensive and plus more. And I just don't know what I'm doing, you know, still, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. And I find it hard to, to make goals when nothing works out, you know. Um, so...